In this video I'll show you how to use a jig to cut your fret slots, insert the wire, as well as attach your fretboard to the ukulele. This is one of my fret cutting jigs. It's made of three layers of particle board. The top layer shows all the fret positions. The bottom two layers have a cutout the same size as the fretboard. And combined it looks like this. The blank fretboard needs to fit perfectly in that cutout. A snug fit means it's not going to move around at all when you're cutting the fret slots. You can pause the video now to see the calculations I used for a 380mm fret scale. The cutout is 6mm thick, so with a 4mm thick fretboard and a 2mm thick spacer, I have a flush surface to work with. Before you start cutting out, make sure that your fret dots are lined up. If you want to see how I did my fret dots, check out the previous video. I've trimmed the sides off my jig so the slots go all the way to the edge, and you have to clamp it to the bench very securely. Use a fret cutting saw with a blade thickness equivalent to your fret wire. Some of these fret saws come with a spacer that allow you to change the depth of cut. You can also make these yourself. The spacer should be adjusted so that you have a 2mm deep cut into your fretboard. Remember to take into account the thickness of the jig and begin cutting. Try to use the whole length of the blade when you're cutting, and keep cutting until that spacer is gliding smoothly over the surface of the jig. One drawback with using this jig is that there's no guide to keep your blade vertical when cutting. If you're struggling to keep the blade vertical, you can use this jig in conjunction with the mitre box. Then once you've done all the frets, you can take it out of the jig and check that all the cuts have gone to the right depth. If they haven't, you can finish it off without the use of the jig. The next stage will be cutting the fretboard to size. The 14th fret needs to be lined up with the body. Then I turn it over, put a clamp on, and put a couple of pencil marks down the side of the neck. Cut it to size using the bandsaw and the belt sander, and then check the accuracy of your cut. There are quite a few options for inserting the fret wire, but a soft mallet will do a pretty good job. Place your fret wire above the slot with a tang facing down, leaving a very slight overhang on one side. Then with a soft mallet, start tapping the wire in from one side, until the whole length of wire has gone down as far as it's going to go. Cut off that excess wire using some pincers or wire cutters. and repeat this process until all fret wire has been inserted. The final step before attaching a fretboard to the neck is to clean up the overhanging fret wire. A straight sanding block will do quite a good job. You can also use a file. With the sanding block on an angle you can make a nice chamfer on the fret wire. As a nice design feature you can now cut out a shape in the bottom of your fretboard. Spread an even film of glue over the fretboard and line up the 14th fret with the top of the body. Put plenty of clamps on but be careful not to apply too much pressure over the fretboard when it's above the body. Once your glue's dry take off the clamps and have a look. You may have a little bit of glue that's come out, you need to sand that back. You may also need to sand back a little bit of the fretboard. And we're almost done. 